Hello, welcome back to the hobo, me, and my girlfriend who is still doing her photography job. Um, like to welcome you back after I just kind of saw a fun and entertaining NXT New Orleans takeover, and it was a really fun match. I'm going to kind of go over things step by step. And please like and subscribe to these videos. Also, if you feel free, please comment and or leave a email at hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. And just start this off. This is gonna be a pretty quick video. There was only I think like five matches. And we'll I'll I'll, I'll kinda of go over things. The pre-show, yeah. We didn't kind of, kinda of need it. I mean all I did was talk. I mean, it was good that Candice LeRae was there. Most of the pre-show seemed to be about the unsanctioned match between Gargano and Ciampa. It was what it was. They interviewed the ref. The ref said, well, my job's just there to count the three or make sure someone submits. Like, duh, that's your job. Especially if it's unsanctioned. I'll get into that a little bit later. I, I have some odd sticking points to that. Overall, this was a really fun card, though. And they had Drew McIntyre. God, he still looks huge. Jacked human being. Perfect male specimen of a man. Um, oh, very quick story about that. My sister, when I went to an NXT event, it was Drew Galloway was in the main event. He was tagging with... I forget who. It was against... Bobby Roode and I'll think of them later. Only because I can see their face. Oh, R oh, Reddick and Moss. Yeah, it was Reddick and Moss. I think so. But um, my sis, I can just remember my sister was 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 putting on her her, her makeup and and Drew Galloway came over and and got a selfie with him. I was like, really? You have to do that. I show up. Ooh, I'll post that picture of me being all sweaty looking because I walk there with of course one of my favorite knee stars, Heidi Lovelace, or now known as Ruby Riot. I should find that picture. Let's put it away too. Maybe like uh I'll find it later. It's a pretty cool picture. I like it at least. My girlfriend's like, yeah. And then she wasn't there for This is Heidi Love. I remember her from the Indies. That was pretty good. Um, then you had another little segment with Andrade Cien Almas second. And this time Alistair Black was lighting candles with his finger. It was what it was. It was a good promo. The only th major qualm I had with NXT, Smack NXT takeovers they don't do anything in the pre-show except for talk, and after a while, it's like... So, the first thing, they have some live music. It was good. It kind of started off the show. I'm sure that's really entertaining for those that are there. You know, watching it online on the network, it's like, uh, I'm going to get my soda, go, go to the bathroom. Just eating my meal, and I got to drink again. I have my delicious... Southern Comfort and Lemon Lime Soda. A little version of the 7 and 7. A little bit sweeter. Still pretty good, though. So, again, start off, you had some live show. Again, great for them. Not so great for me. So I just started to make some drinks for myself. And I have no idea why they did this. Because this, this was the flaming young match of the entire night. And that was the ladder match for the U.S. Championship. This was fun. I mean, I don't know other how to say it. I mean, every participant got huge entrance. I mean, it's all about Adam Cole, baby. And it was really fun. I mean, there's a spot, Adam Cole, baby. Had a super kick party. Lars Sullivan and Killian Dane. 
had some good interactions. They were having like a toss off. They were just like tossing wrestlers around, bouncing them off ladders. It was really fun. <laughs> I always thought it. You always know it's a good match. And there's going to be a huge spot when the crowd starts to chant, please don't die. Please don't die. But again, the most, again, it was a really fun match. They had all the spots. Ricochet is just utterly amazing. He's going to get the, he's just going to go to Maine and become international, intercontinental champion. He's going to be here for a year and just fiddle with some things. But other than that, I mean, he's going right to Maine. And of course, Adam Cole, baby, won. So that was pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Moving on, the third match. This was kind of like the cheeseburger match. And it's weird to say that considering it was Ember Moon versus Shayna Baszler. I just don't know why they... Followed this match up. Ooh, after the ladder match. The ladder match was just exciting. And this, I really felt bad for the two ladies, mainly because they just followed the match of the night. And you followed a flame neon match, and these two came in. And I know they're really good wrestlers, both of them. Um, Shannon Bezos is okay. Yeah, Ember Moon's good. But again, it's, uh, you get that high point, and then everything else is like, really? So this was a cheeseburger match. It was what it was. It was, it was fun, though. I, I mean, I hate to take away from either of those two ladies. But I, again, just where they were on the card, it, it, I don't know who made that decision, but it was okay. Um, what you have here, you had Bezer winning, which I was kind of shocked at. I still don't think Ember Moon's ready for the main main event. But we'll see what happens there. Then we have the three-way tag team. Again, really fun match, but really because of that first ladder match and how much energy was in that match, it's, it was hard to get excited over it. I mean, granted, I, I was excited, but it's just hard. Again, another cheeseburger match, a very good... <laughs> Very good match. The fun, the fun thing about this match is that it took a good ten minutes before the match officially started, because authors of pain just start smacking people around, tossing people, and it was a really weird match. The poor referee had like no control over anything. What can you say? Um, with this, we did have a surprise heel turn. Roderick Strong is now... <laughs> part of the Undisputed Era. And the heel turn turned on Pete Dunne. That was great. Undisputed Era is now the new tag team champions. Again, really good cheese, cheese, cheeseburger match. His hearts are screwed. Hearts are screwed up. Again, they just had. They just push. They just literally push all their ships in the front. And now, this is what you're left with. Um, from there, you had the NXT Championship match. Again, very good, hard hitting, striking match. Alistair Black's good. All his kicks and everything. Um, Andrade Cien Almas, the more more technical wrestler. It's a classic versus a Matt wrestler match. It, it was it was okay. Again, we have a new champion in Alistair Black. It's, it's hard to give it anything more than a cheeseburger, though. I mean, it's kind of what you expect. And with that, it's like, okay. Good, next. Then we had the most anticipated match of the unsanctioned match with Johnny Gargano, Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Wrestling, and the psycho killer himself, Tommaso Ciampa. Again, it was a really good match. This is a surf and turf match. The, again, going, I hate to harp on it, but because that first match was, was so amazing, 
everything else kind of fell flat. And that might just be me. And if it is, and if it is me, hey, this is just this is just one guy's opinion. Hey, it is what it is. What it is. I'm sure pe people say other things. And I can't wait till I get my live streaming capability back. Hope so. Hopefully in July, to have some some real live reactions. Because again, it's it's one thing to do these after after the fact. It's another thing for me to be like. <sighs> Or through things, or, or be really excited and say, "Oh my God, look at what they're doing!" So again, the smash it was it was really good. The, the crowd was really into it, which, which is what I like to hear. Um, there, there were chan <laughs> I'm trying to toss up. You know, it's a good match when I'm smiling and laughing because that means I'm entertained. But it was a dueling chance between Johnny Wrestling and F.U. Champa, and that went in for the good part of the match. Again, the crowd crowd reaction, and I know from talking with other wrestlers and just seeing other wrestlers' reaction, when that crowd gets into it, it it really does ele it really does elevate the the, the match, and it's it's really good, and and the wrestlers do deserve that. Again, with this, they showed a lot of the front row WWE superstars. I think there was um, Sasha, Bailey. Again, kind of the death of kayfabe. Those two sitting together, and then Sh and Shane and Mac was there. I can appreciate the fact that the wrestlers themselves appreciate the wrestling in NXT. I do. I, I'm, I'm old school again. I'm a little bit older. I I like more kayfabe. If I don't like you, I'm gonna see you in public and I'll punch you in the face. Again, harkening back to the old AWA W W W F W World Championship W C P. No, W C D W or something like that. And again, this was a really good match. Again, it's a surf and surf match. Again, if if they didn't have that ladder match, this 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 would have been the flaming on. Um, it seemed to go on pretty long. Um, whenever something bad happens to Shampa, the crowd chanted, "You deserve it." I think the only thing because it wasn't an un unsanctioned match. One the, the one the turnbuckle did come off, and that's always that's always that's always a good thing. I think my only real qualm with this match, and and again coming from from a more realistic perspective, if it's a non-sanctioned match, just pull Yano or kick him right in the jimmies and get the match over with. I mean, it's unsanctioned. The referee's not going to call for the match because because of a low blow. So it should just be who gets to kick who who. Who gets the kick? Who in, in the nuts first? And say, hey, especially if you really hate, hate him, just just kick him right down there. But again, hey, it is what it is. They are professionals. Um, some duct tape came out. The knee brace came off. They tried. Uh, Champa used crutches. Again, it was it was it was it was, it was good. Um. It was almost a heel turn by Johnny Gargano. He kind of had to think twice about using the crutch and knee brace against Ciampa. So it was, it was good. It was, it was good in character work. Again, this is really a, a surf and turf match, and the only reason it is is because that first match wowed everyone. Like, whoa, they can do this, and now we're watching this? Hey, it is what it is. Um... Thank you for watching my recaps. I still have 90 more days on my punishment. Or a little bit less now. So again, hopefully I will get to live stream some videos soon. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. And if you would rather email, the email is hobo and his girlfriend at gmail. Or hobo and girlfriend. Try to make it shorter. Hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. And like and subscribe.
Everyone have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow after WrestleMania. Bye.